What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and welcome back to our Ottawa Senators franchise mode. The tank is real. 18, 36, and 8. We have half as many wins in regulation as we do losses. That's quite impressive. That's pretty hard to do, but we've done it. And the problem is we do not have our own first round pick. So this first year draft is going to be a little bit sad panda. You know, Colorado's probably going to get top three pick. I mean, they're pretty much guaranteed. They might even get the first overall, which should be absolutely filthy. Colorado is going to be stacked. However, we've still got some stuff to do here. And uh, my goodness, there were so many. I thank you guys so much. Uh, all the comments about how dra if there should be draft restrictions or not now there's quite a mix there's some uh, you know s some people you know wanting some sensible restrictions other people wanting strict restrictions and also a lot of people wanting no restrictions so it's up to me now to kind of settle in on a middle ground so what i really liked is kind of having you know less restrictions in the beginning and then kind of putting a bit more on so i think what we're going to do here for the first few years of the rebuild we're going to have 12 picks total. You can only have five in the top uh, top two rounds and, let's say, only three in the first round. And then um, and the, and then uh, after we become a contender, I don't know if that'll be after, what, three or four years. I think I saw some things mentioned. Then we move it down to nine picks total, only three in the first two rounds, and maybe, say, only one first allowed. I think we could do that, and we'll put no restrictions on how many elites or better that I could draft per draft, like we did in uh, in San Jose. So I think that's a solid middle ground. I think that with the scouting system, we could still get a crazy stacked team. And uh, I'm hoping that we'll be able to uh, satisfy everyone here. Because, yeah, with 12 picks, I can still get... You can still find a really good amount of elites and... Let's, I guess we'll have like no limits to like how I can trade up or, or down in the draft either. So hopefully that'll kind of, that'll, um, you know, everyone, most people can be uh, satisfied with those kind of, uh, with that kind of a uh, ruling here. So trade deadline time. Let's see. We got some moves to make, obviously. We got to, we got to stock up on some more picks here. Our scouting hasn't been great. So I might be uh, having to whip out the old, uh, the old blind pick strategy here. But, uh, and we also might have to take back cap. I actually don't know if we'll be able to trade some of these guys. But Cody CC, we should ship off for a little bit of something. Okay, well, let me just see if we're going to... I'm not going to make a trade here. I just want to see if we could trade someone for, like, no... Okay, good. That is league approved. So, so sweet. We could just... We can ship them off. I was just making sure that we'd like somehow be under the cap floor. Okay. So if we want to try to get something, caps might miss. Which means they should be willing to give it their picks. And we could make one of those picks slightly better. Could grab that second. No, there's a zero chance. Even if I threw in like the declare or something like that. I don't know if I'm willing to throw in uh, my prospects yet. Unless we get to the draft and there's someone we want to snag and they're, uh, they're, we're able to trade up for them. I think that's kind of the goal here. We already have Florida second. I think this is just way too much value to grab, but let's see. What else do we have? I know I was thinking about Duclair, but we also have to keep in mind there's, we have to, some people have to play. Wow, Josh Norris is actually growing like a weed. I've never seen him grow this. Oh. Impressive. He's actually growing pretty solidly. Let's trade him. No, just kidding. Um, but, oh, Declare actually does have a decent chunk of value. Way more than I thought he did. So we could package them both together. The problem is we'd still have to kind of grab someone who could play. Do they have any sort of veteran that, that is has no value and one year left that we could just snag back just to throw him in somewhere? We could we could always throw in our depth guy. Doesn't even have to be anyone good. Doesn't even like they don't even have to be able to play. They just gotta have no value, essentially. And Reed? Yeah, probably. He looks like he could be our new depth forward. <laughs> He's in the AHL, but whatever. Mm. 
So trading away CC and Duclair. And try to snag the second right here from Minnesota. That would give us three, three different seconds. And if we don't like what's there, we could always trade this away in the draft, during the draft, or trade one of them away during the draft for a little bit of something else. We could trade back. We won't be able to get 12 picks between now and the draft. That is for sure. But I'm, I think at the draft, we'll be make, doing a lot of wheeling and dealing, trying, trying to find, trying to get ourselves off to a good rebuild start. I don't want to, I, I don't want to like, just kind of be a little bit silent here. We need to start turning this team around ASAP. That looks good to me. We'll see what the computers say. It is hard trade difficulty. So we'll see what they say. But I think they go for that, honestly. So I'll only, let me try to steal some more from them. Try to be that guy. Washington wasn't having a good year. I doubt we get a fifth. Like there's, I don't think there's a chance that we get a fifth. In the, oh my god, we will. Okay, should I cheese the game? They don't have a fourth, did that? Did that? No, they don't even have fourth, so screw it. Okay, no cheese. Seventh is really not going to be worth too much in this first year, so I'm not really going to bother. But I can maybe grab one for a couple of years from now. Let's go for the 2000, uh, 2020. Fucking go for a sixth. They're, if they're giving away this easily. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, yeah, we'll just take that because it, it feels a little bit... feels like I'm ripping them off a tiny bit at, at this point. We're getting three different pits, picks back. Two from this year, another from next year. Yeah. I, what if Declare grows? I've never seen him grow, but what if he does? That would suck, but really, he's not going to be that much of a mainstay on this team. I don't think 23, 80 overall. Like, he might grow a couple overall. I don't think he's getting up to like 85, in which case, he's really not usable in the future. So, yeah, this will make. This still makes sense in my eyes. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for that. Alright, we'll see you on the ice as well. I don't think we have to do any roster moves unless he got put down there. They're saying we have to call a Batherson. You know what? We might as well. I wasn't going to. I was gonna leave him down. Uh, should we? <laughs> he is listed as fourth line. I'm thinking should we call him up though? Part of me is like, yeah, give him a chance, but the other part of me is also like, what if he does well in the AHL, gets some, exp I think I'm going to leave him in the AHL. Yeah. We have so many of those top six guys. At, at the same time, yeah, we have so many of those top six guys. Maybe we can afford to kind of do a test with one of them. I don't know. I want to see if that Reed guy got put on uh, on this team. Yeah, he did. Okay, so we don't even need to really do anything. We could just put in uh, Gulbef <laughs> and hope that we don't have an injury to our defense. Basically, that's kind of what the hope hope is here. Oh yeah, he's a first liner. <laughs> I forgot I put him on the first line because we're trying out different combos. All right. Um. Well, looks like. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, we have an. In Do we have an injury? Oh no, we don't. We just. Lindbergh isn't there, huh? Where's our? Reed is our depth guy, but where's our l last guy? Oh, I guess no, no, no. Never mind. I was thinking that this guy should. Still be scratched. Yeah, okay, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Colin White is still injured. Okay, I got the, it didn't show him that first time, did it? I'm pretty sure it didn't. I'm not just hallucinating, am I? Maybe I am. I'm doing this, like, right after I get up, so. Could be very possible. I'm just going to throw that guy in there, because it's funny. All right. Uh, same with the same with our defense. We're we're trying to tank anyway, so fuck it. That's kind of my my thoughts on it. Have fun, Goldbeth. Matt Reed, see how good you are, sir. Play on that first line with Zach Smith and Bobby Ryan, the Misfits line, the really really shitty line. Okay. 
Yeah, we had a pretty rough year here. Speaking of which, let's... I don't know if we have really any more trades we can make. I know some people are saying to try to deal Anderson now. I just do not think that's going to be possible. He's got that much money on that kind of contract. It has to be on the last year, and we'd have to retain, really, to make that. And I... If this is real decline, then we're kind of screwed. I hope it isn't, but I, I, I'm, it's under my understanding that it kind of is. Yes, he's a bit demoralized, but it didn't look like that. It was his his minuses were just morale. I mean, I could check, but it's sometimes weird in the progress reports, especially with goalies. I find that it's never really accurate. It always changes and glitches the hell out. But we'll see. We'll see if it if it shows where his. It doesn't show any of the modifications. So again, we don't we're not gonna have too much information. Okay, narrative. That's okay, so it is all morale growth. So I wanna wait, I wanna wait till that bumps back up. He has no value right now, but and he's also got two years left. So if that bumps back up next year, that that's the time to deal him. Then we can retain a uh, cap on him for you know half of that cap easily. And then we can really yeah, I think that's the time to do it. Okay, but let's just let's keep going here. Let's see anything else that we can maybe say we don't really need this right now and just try to start loading up. Yeah, I'm going to... Actually, let's go back to goalies. Was there any... I mean, I could deal those two backup dudes, really. Which one of them grew? I think it was Holette who grew pretty decently. Hogberg we don't really need. He doesn't have much value anymore. But I could deal him. I could pack it. Let me, you know, let me keep this guy because he's actually grown decently. I'll package these two goalies. See if anyone wants either of them. Doesn't look like it. So package a couple goalies together and try to snag just a pick, basically. If we can get a fifth or a fourth, that would be choice. But I highly doubt we're able to get a fourth or a fifth. I'll try, but that doesn't look good. Okay. I don't know. I guess the computer <laughs> just likes to take stuff. Okay. Neither of those goalies are going to really turn out to be anything. But we got a fourth for it. So cool. Maybe I'm not cheesing the computer enough in these trades, but I don't know. Those trades are at least seeming a bit realistic to me. <laughs> those two goalies are absolute trash, man. Alrighty. Anything else? <laughs> Any, anything else I could do and maybe try to get a bit more in this next one because apparently let's see let's see look at guys, like AHLers with one year left who are really trash and I'm not using if there are any like that a lot of them have multiple years left yeah not really <laughs> Most of them have multiple years left, so no one's really going to want to take them on. Yeah. Oh, Gabrick. That's going to be a nice contract to have to keep us uh, above the cap floor, at least. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much. They're all like basically just signed for a while. And I guess I'll just hold on to him. We could ship off this guy. Oh, I'm not. Pff, I don't think he's going to turn out to be much. I mean, 2165 top nine potential. He's already cutting it extremely close. He doesn't have incredible defensive stats for his overall. Yeah, that's not looking good. Let's okay. Let's try to get something back for this guy. Even though he is a prospect, but we'd have tons of those top six prospects who I don't have to touch yet. I don't think anyone wants him. So cool. If I can get a third for him, I will. Maybe a decent-ish third. Don't know if that'll be possible. Mm, it's gonna be close. Ah, oh, too many. Yeah, I didn't check their skaters. 
Anyone with room? LA has room. They don't want to give it the third. Or any third for that matter. Do you guys? Nope, they don't have a third. <laughs> uh, come on. They're not going to want to give it. Well, maybe they do. Sometimes they only want to give it the first. Nope. Oh, no. Is this not going to be allowed? Come on. Please, please have that room. Hype. There we go. Yeah, we can get more than a third. How many picks do we have then? We have 10. This will put us at 11. We can grab one more for 12. Then if we trade up, we'll have to get rid of another pick. So we can grab a three. Uh, I might want to grab a six or something. We don't have a six. So let me grab a three, a six, and then... S oh! Fine. Give me a five. I really wanted a six, but I'm not going to be that picky. And then maybe something from... Can we get a four from next year? That's so much for this guy. I will laugh if the computer does this. Yeah, there's zero chance that was going to happen. Okay. <laughs> I, you never know. Some of those other trades, I didn't think it was going to happen either. Let's try to grab a fifth from next year then. A three and a five from this year and a five from next year. Nope. Can we even get the three and the five? That might not... I'm probably getting way too hyphy with this one. Yeah. I don't even think we can get the three and the five by the looks of it. Okay. So it's just the seventh that was pushing you over the top. Fair enough, Calgary. Fair enough. We got two picks back for a guy who likely isn't going to pan out. And there we have. We have 12 picks for this upcoming draft. We made it work. And we held on to most of our, you know, I, we don't really have any A-level prospects. So all of our B-plus level prospects. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got that done. All righty. So there we go. And I think the team tank is going to continue here. Really nothing uh, else to do. Let's finish this season off in the right way. Let's win a bunch of games and make Colorado suffer, which is not going to happen. Not with this team. We need Colin White back. He's our leading point producer. <laughs> oh, man. I just want to remember, though. I just want to get to the end of the season and remember our goals for per game. Because in a few years, we're gonna, I'm going to put the two of them side by side. Oh, wait, Gibbons is in. It's Colin White we're waiting on. We're going to put the two of those things side by side and just look at the majesty of how we turn this team around. It's going to be fantastic. And I hope all you guys stick around for that. All right, Colin White is back. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Swap him in for Lindbergh. Like that. Make the move. Trying to, let's give Kachuk the extra ice time then, I guess. All right, and then we'll sub out Reed and put in Lindbergh. Uh, trying to sort of keep people happy. It's not, it's not working. <laughs> oh, we won! Two in a row! Oh my God, three in a row! Oh. <laughs> The longest winning streak of the season for Ottawa. No! Brandstrom! Oh. All right, March 19th. It's not too long, luckily. Don't want him out for a long time. We're trying to train that guy up. He's going to be the big boy. Or at least a pretty, pretty solid guy. See if he can get some of that stack growth. All right. I guess Wickstrand, even though he's 24, 25. That's someone who I should have traded, Jesus. But I, di I didn't see him in the value section, so he likely didn't have much value. And we already stocked up on picks, so hey. All right, come on, scouts. What have you got for me? You got more? Got more info? I would love some more info here. Well, we can maybe trade up for one of these dudes. This might not be too bad. Injury prone. <laughs> nah. I'm good. Yeah, we'll see who gets into that top five. All right, well. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, come on. There we go. All right, a goalie. Nelson Aginla. Beautiful name. So we can get ourselves an elite goalie. 
Pretty much guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> He's got no strengths and all weaknesses. Well, we'll see how he sims, I guess. I still want to grab him because of value. This guy might be an elite to pick up, so okay. Couple there looking like uh, early four and mid four. All right, there we go. Got a couple of elites. One here in the mid second. Uh, another one here looking like the fifth or sixth. The sixth, yeah. Uh, low elite grinder. And then a maybe low elite in the uh, towards the late second. We do have three seconds. So actually, this is looking pretty good for us right now. Yeah, we, 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 we will be able to salvage this draft, I believe. Let's see if there's any uh, top sixes outstanding here. Um, mid late first may might be a grabbable guy. Another freaking second. So we'll have a lot to choose from. We do have a lot of uh, we do have a lot of top six centers. So I'd rather get my hands on this guy if we have a pick in that range. Offensive instincts, foot speed, offensive creativity. That's good. Similar to Matt Zuccarello. Good. Well, good news is if we ever end up trading him, he'll get injured immediately and he won't threaten us. So, good news. All right, let's continue here. I'm liking how that's looking so far. Brandstrom's back. Put him in immediately. There he is. Get out of here, Wickstrand. Get in there, son. You're in minor top four. Okay, take that minor top four time. What are you? Oh. What are you? Okay, you're nothing. Boom. He should be still on the... Okay, he got... Yeah, I really, I'm, I really must have messed something up when I was doing my AHL lines. <laughs> I must have best lines and then still fixed a couple things and then, yeah, I it always happens. Like when I'm, I'm just mo trying to move. I move so fast sometimes doing all these lines. Wow, we got shut out three times in a row. That yeah, like I do them once one way and then like I'll do some kind of roster move and sometimes I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's the, maybe it's the assistant coach. Because I do, the, the assistant coach for AHL is always on by default. You act, Like, if you turn off your assistant coach in the NHL, maybe that fucker's been changing all my stuff. Maybe that's just been the culprit this entire year, and I haven't been, like, hitting best lines and forgetting. But maybe I have. That's still a possibility. Francois Beauchemin. man. Neither of these guys have any potential. This guy has a bit, even though he's not going to be anything. Oh, really? Put in alerts. Put in the Urukai captain. Hurry up. Oh, Sturts. Should be alerts. Why did I say alerts? I was just, I'm just thinking about Lord of the Rings. That's it. No, 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 no other reason. I'm just thinking about Lord of the Rings. It happens. Oh. oh, yeah, we're not going to have a playoff matchup. What am I thinking? I'm just waiting for the eight. No, AHL season ain't going to be over for a while. Screw them. Okay. Wow. Well, Hot Simbacho led the entire team in points with a whopping 44. Oh, unbelievable. What a year. Oh, he's an 87 now. So he grew. He grew more. Where are we at? Dead last. 2.17 goals for per game, 3.02 goals against. This is going to be reversed and better in years to come. Trust me on that. Power play is pretty horrid. Penalty kill is actually not bad considering. We're not in dead last. We're actually very close to... Ah, excuse me, the Maple Leafs penalty kill. Well, we won 10 games on home ice this year. Good for you. Won 15 on the road, so... Big old middle finger to our fan base. Good job, Ottawa. They're all thrilled. Brian Five or Six is losing his goddamn mind again. All right. Shabbat. Top point score <laughs> for Colin White. Man, if you didn't get injured, you know we got that. But Bodker, 40 point year. Colin White, 40 point year. Zach Smith. <laughs> Zach Smith, elite. 20 goal season, 40 point season. Bobby Ryan at 35. Man, Kachuk didn't even hit 30 friggin' points. And he declined. He dropped even further. Because that fucking morale. <laughs> Holy crap. 
Oh, man. Well, that's fun. I wish young guys didn't suffer from morale that much. You know, I think I said that in the last one. Anyway, but uh, I, there's really not many good things to see here, so we're just kind of going to not really spend too much time on that. Surprisingly, Anderson had above 90 save percentage and under three goals against. I'm actually... I'm impressed, not going to lie. And I just want to see those plus, yep. Solid plus minuses. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, let's let's move on here. Let's actually just go to the league. And check out, check out some good hockey players there. Oh, my God. John Tavares, Drake the Snake. 92 point season to take the lead. In point scoring for the forward end. Incredible. And I think Ovi's going to do it. Ovi does it. <laughs> Leads the league in goals. 51. Good for you. Let's see the assist master. Because Kuznetsov usually happens if Ovi has a lead. All right. Let's see any outrageous plus minuses. That's actually cool. They're not all from the same line or team. But Brad Marshan up there. That's a plus 35. It's pretty good. Ovechkin took the most shots. He had very high shooting percentage. Not as high as Tavares's, but he also took pff, way more shots. All right, but it looks like Tavares is the most clutch. 12 game winners off 42 shots. That is an insane, insane percentage of game winners to goals. Yeah, that's really good. McKinnon had 10. That's, that's really good, too. One out of four. And this is way better than one out of four. I don't even want to do that. I don't even know the math on that. But it's cool. It's good. He led in power play goals too with 17. Probably led in power play points. Wow, yeah. JT had himself a year. He also had a pretty decent face-off percentage. I want to see how he did in the giveaway takeaway game. Could No. McJesus is up there. Not as good face-off percentage. But look at Jordan Stahl. I think Jordan Stahl might actually beat everyone for this. <laughs> a lot of hits, decent number of blocked shots, good giveaway takeaway ratio, killer face off percentage. How is this plus minus? Oh, he's a minus 16. I do think they take that into account there. So we'll have to see. But everything else is really is good for that Selkie. They might just give it to Bergeron because that face off percentage is obnoxious. And he probably has a ridiculous. He has a good. Yeah, he has a plus 30. They'll probably give it to Bergeron. Despite the other stuff maybe not being as good. They really seem to favor face-off percentage and a plus minus two, to be honest. So, yeah, it looks like uh, Patrice will be winning that uh, Selkie this year. I don't think anyone's going to take that away from him. But if someone else does win it, it should be Jordan Stahl. Oh, what? why did I just... What the fuck? I exited. I didn't even check out the defense. That's, that's how this year went. I completely checked out. I'm already like, let's just give me to the draft. Give me some good news. Okay, so OEL tied with Tyson Berry for the top points in the league. 64 apiece. Okay. Not exactly what was expected. Oh, God. Dowdy's up there, so he's going to have a chance to win the Norse. The NHL is going to give him a fucking participation trophy. Jesus Christ. Great. So anyone but Dowdy can win it, man. He doesn't need any more gifts. He's got plenty of gifts. He got an undeserved contract. He has undeserved Norris. Really? Do you need to give this guy any more gifts? No. We're fine. All right. Burns and Carlson had decent uh, point production years. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of gauge who would win that Norris. And honestly... Dowdy's going to be up there. Burns is going to be up there. Subban would even be up there to get that Norris. They really seem to take in some other stuff into account, especially when the points are close. But we'll see what happens. All right, let's check out the tendies. 60 games played. Oh, my God. Oh, two of them. Two oh, my gods. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I 
even with Rene having these, I, th- I I would honestly maybe give him it, give him the tie just because we have two goalies with these kind of stats. But the fact of the matter is, is that Vasilevsky did this playing 70 games. And he only allowed one more goal than Rene did in six more games played. <laughs> That's freaking filthy. That's actually ridiculous. Rene did have 11 shutouts. Eh. He did very well. God damn, look at Vasi. That's disgusting. Those are two disgusting goaltenders. I don't know. Should we give Rene a participation trophy trophy and say he gets the tie because he did break uh, the two goals against, which is insanely hard to do? Or should we just be real and give it to Vasilevsky because god damn. They're both on really good teams. Obviously, Lightning are better. <laughs> but Vasilevsky also had himself a year. I mean... Ugh. Oh wait, look at look at the shots against though. He only faced six more shots in those six extra games played. He did face a very lower volume of shots. All right, you know what? Maybe we can give him a tie because the goals against and that is definitely misleading. Doesn't have, you know what? I think I will give him a tie just because that goes to show it's it's about the best goalie, not necessarily who's on the best team. The that that one right there. The shots against really, that one really did it for me. Yeah. And yeah, he's only got five more saves. Like, yeah. You know what? I think they're, they're going to tie. I think I'm going to give him the tie, even though that goal against is vastly different. Save percentage is exactly the same. And rene has got an extra shutout. Yep. I think that's going to be a tie between Vasilevsky and Rene. Both had absolutely insane years. Good on him. All right, let's check the rooks. Okay, let's go to oh oh the the, the point the it's reversed derp. All right, Elias Pettersson, fifty seven points. Coke Kinyemi up there with fifty two. He's not a top six. Don't worry, he's actually a medium elite. <laughs> we just don't have him scouted. Yeah, it could have been a bad. I've seen him have better rookie years. I've seen some sixty point years from him. Come on, Petey. Get good. Sedina so is not a shooter in this game, which is ridiculous. Maybe he just didn't have the ice time. I hope he become. I mean, he's a goddamn goal scorer, and the game has him like mm-hmm. two way forward. I would change him to a sniper, but it doesn't affect how many shots he takes. So I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> really doesn't matter. And we're not gonna have any rookie goalies because, <laughs> poor guy. I really fucked him. <laughs> good year, Bennington. <laughs> That's your Demko had a good year, and he still has rookie status. So there you go. There we are. All right, guys. The tank is completed for this first year. It was really bad. We're a really bad team. And we will be doing the draft in the next year. <laughs> Well, wait, in the next video, not the next year. I'm not going to be skipping this draft, don't worry. Yeah, we will be taking care of that draft. Um, I just want to see if there's anyone I really, really want to extend here. Yes, okay. This is definitely something I want to do. And honestly, we don't even need to save money on him. But I, it, it does make sense to still get him to good deals. We can always spend a crap ton of money one year on someone. So it still makes sense to get him to uh, reasonable deals here. Like that for four years. Yeah, I definitely want Colin White back. Um, none of these guys want to sign, and I'm not too keen on any of them. Is that it? Looks like it. <laughs> just just Colin White? Well, who's worth a damn, yeah? Yeah, basically, I can choose to sign everyone else at another time. Okay, so that will do it. Colin White should get signed here. 
And in the next episode, the draft will be here. We stocked up on picks. We will. I think there's going to be a lot of wheeling and dealing that's going to happen. So stay tuned and get ready. This should be a crazy draft. And watch, Colorado's going to get the fucking first overall. I just know it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Or Edmonton will. One of the two. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.